Yeah, well, you'll... You'll be, we'll be getting to that. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. I, what I do, I shoot a little video, and it helps me because I... Right, then you remember. My fifth or sixth quote today. Yeah, I And I like totally. to point out some things. Um, underneath here is, you see the brown or the black is the mold. Right. And that's the stuff we want gone. Right. And we want it pretty and pristine white. And um, we wet foliage, everything very right. carefully for a very long time. And I'll tell you, in 13 years, we haven't lost a plant. Well, that's good too. Yeah. Um, you know, a plant is good, but more to the point, yeah. as you can see, this happened the last time my house was power washed. Um, I noticed immediately, yeah. and I said that and is that is sodium that, hypochlorite. That is one of yeah. that. That's one of the sure. things that needs to be done. This door needs to be um, sure. re sanded and restained and refinished. Okay. It needs to be sure, finishing. we can do that. So um, that's one of the things that needs to be done. Okay, we'll uh, we'll you know certainly do things according to your order. I I just I happen to see it, and um, I'm thinking in an ideal situation you would like some colors like this, consistent through the entire door. Right. And um, in all honesty, with the color of it. It almost looks like nothing more than a polyurethane sealer. But I'm going to need your help with the coloring. Yeah, well, I, you know, what I want is really it restored to what it was, which was kind of, you know, the, the door and the, and the sure. ceiling were kind of the right, same right, color exactly. of sure. different material. Okay, they also, yep. when they power washed the house last time, yes, did something to these stairs. Now, these stairs are some exotic hardwood. It looks like Ipe. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which they've now, it's now has two different stains on it. Okay. And they need to be, it needs to be brought back to mm -hmm. whatever it was originally. It was very shiny when wet. It was mm -hmm. very nice. It was sure. dark. It was not, it, it was dark and a little bit red. It was kind of mahogany, but not yeah. this. This sure. is a disaster. Of course. Um, and so this, this is also one of the jobs. Okay. And I happened to notice some spindles. I didn't know. What, what's that? No, the dry rot is a major part of the job. Balusters, yeah. It, it's not only there, yeah. um, but over here. Okay. And if you go back, you can see it's actually starting to attack the stuff. I see that. Yeah. Um, oh, this is um, a facade. Yeah. And I know that because I can see the seam right. here. It's basically a 1x6 they wrap to make a 4x4 right. four four pretty. And what we can do is remove that because this is actually a fungus that um, attached to hey. the point. And what is that? That's uh, that's plastic wood that somebody, somebody yeah somebody poked tried a bunch of. To, to repair you know yeah. a, a, a holding. And on I'll it. tell you why it failed is they didn't paint the bottom of the board. They they did not know what they were doing. Sure. So. Or they did know and they shortcutted which. We don't like to do. Yeah, no, no, no. And actually, I'm beginning to notice that it's also running sure. through here. Right. And over there, which is just some plywood or something. I don't know if you guys, for lack of a better word, have a, a gardener or yard guy, but um, houses love to breathe. And in teachable moments that I have with my customers, that if you can keep plant life 12 to 18 inches away, it dramatically increases your lifespan. Yeah, well, this is better than it was. I mean, it was just, they, we're just cut. Yeah, these need to be cut a little sure. bit. But you can see she's doing a pretty good job. Absolutely. That. And uh, um, you see even this guy. And what you got is a plethora of ants. And it's telling me there's probably 30 or 40 and they're walking line. So they're living probably somewhere in the house. They go all the way back there. But um, this board's also cracked. He split, and there's a, a gap in here, which might be their access point. Well, I think that, um, you know, what I want is, I, I also want this thing painted. I think it needs it needs to be repainted. I would agree. And I grew up in Charleston, and porches are a porch gray. Yeah. And um, it's a, a really, really durable paint that we apply to these things. If you want to maintain that, we can. Yeah. That's that's okay. what I want to do, yeah. and um, uh, you know, and you know, anything that needs to be repaired, I want to repair without sure. going of crazy. Course. Of course. Um, and now I think once it's power wash, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the white trim is going to be needing any retouch up or repainting or whatever. Sure. But so I don't know. But come through the house because okay. the wood rod is actually much okay. worse than bad. Can I show you one more thing? Yeah. While we're out here, I just happen to see. Well, I'm I'm looking for tells. 
Yeah. And, and um, hey, if you kind of, well, probably from where you are, look straight up. And you see behind your gutter, there's a three and a half inch board you see the bottom of. It's very dirty and it has dots on it. Where, where is it? Right here, behind your gutter. Yeah. And what that's telling me is that the rain is not getting into your gutter, at least entirely. Because it's dripping down the fascia and I've seen so many fascias rot. And if we can figure out why it's doing that, also if you notice the gutter down there is actually kind of her forward, that I want your gutter to do its job so I don't have to replace the rotted fascia. I think that, you know, there, a number of my gutters need adjusting and mm -hmm. tightening so that you could mm -hmm. throw that in. I'll do that. Because I think that is, uh, water is cascading yeah. over and things of that sort. All right, look at this. If you stand on this first step, yeah. you look straight up between the gutter line and the house, that's called a fascia board. Do you see the daylight? And if you kind of, kind of, uh, of, of, of um, No. Oh yeah, I see a little daylight. All right, this, yeah. what you'll see is a little yes, white stripe. Yes, yes, you yes, shouldn't yes, yes. see that, because if you right. see that, that means the water's running straight yeah. down. Right, right. And uh, I think the gutters need tightening. Uh, over here and in back of the house as well. I'm going to look at it. We'll bring a ladder back. Yeah, I think it's, I do think that's what's going on is that the gutters sure. um, need to be. Because you can see over there, there's some space too. I right. mean, it's all, yeah. all it's kind of all over the place. And, and you look at the garage gutter, your fascia board, which is what your gutter sits on, has some black streaks. Yeah. And it, it shouldn't be that much water there to cause that. Well, you know, we have been getting these torrential rains. Yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, that is part of it. But, but, but yeah, the, but, the, the, but tightening the gutters, yeah. I, if you put that in there, that sure, would will. be great we will. for me. We will. Great. Okay. Okay, so anything else you want to show me out here? I think we're good. Okay, so the here, so let's go to the back. Okay. Um, 